What's up YouTube? It's Andrew from Posh Designs and today I have a much awaited video for you guys and today is my room setup tour video for you. So hope you guys enjoy it and let's just hop right on in it. Now everything that you guys will see behind this video has been purchased by myself. This is not from a lot of help from my mom and dad and grandparents and stuff like that. This is all earned by myself through my hard earned money as a waiter at a local restaurant. So please don't leave comments in the comment sections below saying you're spoiled and whatnot. Because in all reality I'm not and uh, you know I take very um, much pride in the stuff that uh, you guys will see behind this door. So let's hop right on in there. Alrighty, so right here is the main setup that we will be paying attention to today. This is where all the graphics are designed that you guys might see on other people's channels or just my channel in general. But we'll hop right on over here to my boy Dylan. He What's is a up? motorcycle vlogger. How's it going, buddy? What are you doing? Just rendering out a little video. Alrighty, rendering out a little video here. Like I said, he does do uh, vlogs on his motorcycle, so that's pretty cool. So if you guys want to go check him out, his link is in the description below. Yeah. But enough of him. We will hop on over to the actual room setup. So this is just the basic area where we put our shoes and whatnot. Um, right here we have the mini fridge. This is where I keep all you know my pop and stuff and whatnot. Uh, just to you know make sure that I'm energized in the morning and stuff, especially late at night. Um, and whatnot, just to make sure that uh, you know we keep the creative mind flowing. Uh, right here is just my change jar, some hand sanitizer. Now this desk was actually purchased um, from a company, Office Depot. You guys might have heard of, might not have. Um, it's a $500 desk, but I got it actually for $350, uh, which was on sale for just one weekend. So that was pretty awesome, and uh, I enjoy the desk. Uh, it definitely gives a nice professional look to my room as well, so that's a definitely big plus for that. Now we'll just start from the top down, and uh, as you guys see right on top, we have uh, speakers lining up. There's one, two, and then three. And that is, actually goes to a home theater system that you guys will see later on in this video. Um, I am obsessed with flat bills, as you guys can see. I love them. I don't necessarily like the teams that they play for. I just like the look of them. So, uh, definitely I love flat bills. Right here, this actually opens up right here. And this is just like a little snack area. Uh, it has just a bunch of mints, uh, peanuts, sunflower seeds behind there. Uh, and then right here is kind of just your daily necessity area. Uh, we have the wallet, uh, Bluetooth headset, house key, cologne, whatnot. Right here is just actually my uh, waiting uh, booklet. This is f are some eye drops that I actually had to get for a pink eye. I actually had pink eye last week, so that was not fun at all, so I had to get some eye drops. Uh, right here, this is actually my first big purchase right here, and these are actually limited edition oil rigs, and I feel super proud of myself for buying these when I actually first bought them. Um, I thought they were probably the coolest things that I've ever purchased in my life, and uh, they just get, have a nice look, so definitely like those. Right up here are my Beats by Dre, as you guys can see. These are just the Solo HDs. I did have Studios uh, uh, a couple months back, but I didn't really like them. I didn't think that they were really worth the money, so I just took them back. Uh, this is actually a Beretta 45 right here. Um, me and Dylan haven't had uh, too much luck. People break into the house, so we got to pop them. Um, no, I'm just kidding, guys. This is actually a Airsoft gun. Um, it's actually spray painted. I spray painted it when I was in like the eighth grade. So I thought I was a badass for uh, having this and it looks real to me. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't to you. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, right here is just um, pens, pencils, etc, etc. Nothing too special. Right in there is just my Beats case and uh, some receipts. Uh, right down here is kind of our everyday electronics, I guess. Uh, we have remote, iPod Touch, 4th Gen. Um, iPhone 4. This is a flip. Uh, oh, I can't remember. Dylan, what is it? Flip Minnow. Flip Minnow. Sorry, he was out of focus. But um, that's always cool. That's what I used to record all my videos with. Uh, necklace. There's another speaker right there in the corner. Um, right here is the PS3 Slim, 120 gigs. Um, I used to play this a lot. I don't really anymore. This is more used for, uh, I guess, Blu rays, Netflix. That's about it. I uh, sometimes surf the internet on it if I don't want to get on my computer. But uh, that's about it that that's used for. It's kind of a shame. Uh, I used to play it a lot, but it doesn't really get much use anymore. Uh, we have the PS3 controller right here. Then we have an uh, Xbox controller right there. I'm a big Xbox guy, and I guess I did skip my Xbox games. I can show you that real quick. Um, right here, I have Battlefield 3, Call of Duty 4, 
Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, MW3, Max Payne 3, St. Rose the 3rd. A lot of 3's right there. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, FIFA Soccer 11. And then up here we have Grand Theft Auto 4 for the PC. Grand Theft Auto 4 for uh, PS3 and then Mafia 2 and Modern Warfare 2 uh, for uh, PS3 as well. Uh, there's the actual Xbox uh, White Edition. That is one of the, the first ones I've ever seen in a setup video. Uh, and I still have it. It still runs great. I used to put uh, little like filters on the bottom of it that would lift actually the Xbox up off the ground. And I'm pretty sure that's the only reason it's still uh, around because uh, it used to have problems with like heat under it. So I think that's the only reason mine is still around. Uh, maybe it's not though. Uh, here's where the actual magic happens that you guys see on YouTube. Uh, this is a 40 inch LCD 1080p uh, Dynex TV. Um, this is used for everything though. This is used for you know my gaming, watching television, Netflix, computer, everything. It all goes to that one screen and is just uh, split it up between you know HDMI's and video component cables. So that's that for you. Uh, right over here is where you guys hear all my tutorials recorded with and whatnot. This is a blue snowball mic. It's really clear that um, I can tell, uh, and maybe you guys can tell from my tutorials. So that's where all the GFX Tip Fridays and stuff is recorded. You guys can find them at Best Buy for a hundred bucks. Right here, we just have our keyboard. Uh, nothing too fancy, just something that came with the computer, um, as well as the mouse. Right here is just the TV remote. And then right here is the big boy tower. Uh, I used to do all my graphics actually on a laptop computer. And uh, a lot of people were really surprised when I told them that because they were like, how could you you know, produce such good content on a computer? Uh, like, especially a laptop for that sake. So, uh, I, But this is definitely an upgrade from where I was at. This has an Intel i5 quad core processor. Uh, two terabyte hard drive, eight gigs of RAM, DDR3. So it's definitely a better computer than I was running on, and I'm definitely proud of uh, this buy by far. Um, but that's the machine that we work on. This is actually my HD PVR, and let me focus that in for you. Uh, this can be also bought at uh, Best Buy as well. You guys can just record, you know, gameplays, uh, Call of Duty, and whatnot from there. Uh, this is also a uh, Drift HD camera it records in 1080p. This is what Dylan actually uses to uh, record all his vlogs on his motorcycle and stuff. It's really clear. Definitely go check it out. You guys can also uh, see uh, the quality and how good it is just on his channel. So like I said, go check it out. Uh, this is just a standard lamp, which is like probably the coolest thing in my room. Um, but uh, right down here we have, we just open up this drawer, uh, just a bunch of, you know, pens, keys, a uh, little cards I guess um, oh shit you guys weren't supposed to see that gun oh sorry man <laughs> uh, this is the uh, the gum drawer uh, I'm I don't know why I have so much gum I just buy gum actually I just buy them in bolts that's the only reason this is the snack drawer uh, I guess me and Dylan ate all the Lay's barbecue chips uh, sweet tarts cookies that my girlfriend likes I hate honey buns and then actually over here is some more snacks guys we have the uh, the peanut Oreos, the regular Oreos, some more sunflower seeds, and then you always have to have your TGI Friday cheddar and bacon chips, and you know, I always have to have them. Um, this is also the chair that I sit in, if you guys haven't even noticed this. Uh, I love this chair, very comfortable. Um, right down here, though, is the home theater system that I was talking about at the beginning, and then there's a subwoofer that goes with it as well. And then right down there, you guys can see my Turtle Beach X12s, just like the X11s, except they're black and they have bass boost, which doesn't even work. So uh, that's the main setup, guys. Uh, you know, that's where all of the graphics are produced. And then the rest of my room is kind of just a standard room. Uh, the bed, we have the fan, uh, just a dresser, my backpack. Uh, some more shoes over there, another backpack, clothes whatnot. Um, right here is just a bunch of boxes. A actual prehistoric house phone used to go in that, but I don't know where it is. Um, iPhone, uh, sorry, no, iPod touch case. And then we're back to the door. So guys, I hope you guys liked the room setup tour. I hope this answers all your guys' questions on what's actually in my room. Uh, if you guys do have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment sections below. I will feel free to uh, definitely answer them as soon as possible. And if you guys do have any just regular feedback for me, definitely leave those as well in the comment sections below. 
But and guys, until next time, my name's Andrew from Posh Designs. I make quality graphics for free, and I make your visions a reality. Astronome, my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Fuck all that shit, just let me go. And taste makers, makers, no chaser. Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker. Cut the